everyone! As you'll notice, our caterpillars are not there at the moment. We have this netting. It is time to transfer them, and it's a bit of a delicate process, so I'm not going to film. What I'm going to do is give my full attention on moving these delicate little pupa into their new home. See you soon! Bye! Hi everyone, and welcome back! So I put a little plant and our crystal and our 3D printed egg in this enclosure and I'll pan up and we'll be able to see all of the chrysalises, the pupa, hanging from the roof. They all transferred fairly easy and they're all still up there together. So I will set up our tripod and we'll have a better, less shaky view of them. Well there we are, a new habitat and welcome everyone. My name is Heather and I work for the Okanagan Regional Library and we are watching our library butterflies. Right now they are in their chrysalises. And have you asked yourself, what does a caterpillar do inside of a chrysalis? Well, I was curious and I can tell you, I found some fascinating information. Fascinating, amazing, but also gross. And I'll kind of tell you why maybe I think it's gross. So the first thing a caterpillar does inside of its chrysalis is it digests itself. Like how we digest food, the caterpillar actually releases enzyme and it digests all of its tissues and organs. If you were to open up a chrysalis, you would kind of see something that would resemble caterpillar soup. All the cells are digested except for one very specialized cell called an imaginal disc. Imaginal discs form when the caterpillar is just in its egg. It has one disc for every part of an adult butterfly. Body parts such as eyes, legs, antennae, and wings. It's from these discs that the adult butterfly form. It gets its energy or its food supply from the protein-rich caterpillar soup that has been dissolved around it. So yeah, that was that fascinating but kind of gross part for me. Now, my favorite butterfly fact, so far anyways, is that butterflies, is that there's ongoing research that demonstrate butterflies retain memories from when it's a caterpillar. Now, if we think about our life, it makes sense that we might remember something. But remember, caterpillars were dissolved. Every turns, everything turns into that caterpillar soup. And scientists aren't sure yet how it happens, but they've been able to prove that a butterfly reacts to things that show a memory that would only be possible if they retain it from when they're a caterpillar. That's amazing to me. And although it might be very tempting to want to peer inside of a chrysalis of a cocoon to see what's going on, we can't do so without actually harming the butterfly or the process of its transformation. A, if we opened up a chrysalis, everything would fall out. That caterpillar soup would just ooze out. And also, caterpillars are very sensitive to stress. A little bit too much movement or jostulation can really affect the overall growth and health of an adult butterfly. So with our butterflies, one thing that we can do is observe them. We're not disturbing them and we move them as little as possible. This lets us kind of peer in without seeing inside the chrysalis. On the screen, I'm going to put up some arrows so you can see sometimes we almost see a glimmer or a bit of a color change in the chrysalises. This can be from enzyme movement or a different stage of the digestion process for our butterflies to be. So what are your thoughts? Fascinating? Amazing? Gross? Weird? Or all of the above? Well, that's our video for today. Thanks for tuning in and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.